Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to be learn about Amazon's Elastic Load Balancing with Amazon's Auto Scaling Functionality for Fake Load Generation on EC2 Instance so that we can learn about its real-time working uh, in peak environments. Okay, let's log into AWS that is Amazon Web Services Management Console. So here I am logging to the IAM user. Uh, that is basically a user under the Amazon Services root account. Okay, uh, here I am going to be entered a 12 digit URN uh, for IAM user. Uh, it's basically a good to use IAM user for security purposes. Here I am entering my IAM user details. Okay, let's log into the IAM user account. It's similar to the AWS root account with some less uh, policies. Here I am going to be launch a EC2 instance. Firstly, I am uh, choosing the region as East and Virginia that having good instances runtime environment rather than audio. For my web application deployment or web page deployment, I am going to launch an instance. Uh, here I'm, I am choose a AMI for my EC2 instance that is 64 bit. Uh, now I'm going to review and launch. So here uh, the some configurations that I like get using EBS I have choose. Now I am using my uh, existing key pair where you can also create a new key pair and then click on download key pair. I can uh, also show you like uh, here I have under AWS download key pair. So AWS.pm file. Now we can also launch an instance here. So wait for a few seconds to warm up the instance. So the instance will uh, start in some seconds so here uh, we have public DNS for web browser activities and the public IV for SHS and other activities that is HTTP activities so currently our instance is in the uh, pending state so I am going to introduce you about the terminal or SHS uh, uh, from where I am going to be able to use the commands for my instance now it is in the running state I am using currently MongoStorm as my current terminal software you can use putty and other traditional software but monster is a good because uh, it is configured with uh, many utilities like SQL Terminal and RS Change and uh, AWS also so, and also provides a good GUI environment for your Linux distros that's why so here uh, I'll just copy the IP for IP uh, that is uh, 34 to 30, 70, 102. so here my monster instance that is my premium instance I'm going to be deleted now just click on the session and on SHS I have previously defined AWS3 is also there, RDP is also there. You can use as per your uh, requirement. The more host is my IP and uh, AWS uh, AMI EC2 user is the default user. However, you can also switch to root user uh, uh, like uh, other Linux distros. In private key, I'm going to use the AWS key because I specified as an AWS key. You can see here also. Wait a minute. Uh, so it's a key name AWS. Unless you will never going to log into your uh, EC2 instance because it is a SHS key uh, which will configure your uh, my key. Sorry, maybe I have downloaded my key in downloads. Uh, so, where is my key? There is my key. Okay, now I have checked my key. If uh, you are going to log into Putty, then you need to convert this PM file uh, to PK file because it's a traditional approach. Uh, however, in soft, some software, it uh, inject accepts like PM, like in more strong inject accepts. So we are going to be logging to our server that is uh, EC2 instance. So import the open SSH key. Currently on our EC2 instance, nothing is installed. So you can check by its public DNS. Here is nothing installed. So for my web page deployment, uh, I'm going to install Apache on it. Uh, you can configure through some commands. I'm going to be taking the sudo so for as a root user. I'm configuring so with some updates like push updates. It can uh, take some time. So wait for me a few minutes. Uh, so I think uh, it have copied its all dependencies. Now we are going to install our Apache. That I'm going to install Apache 2.4 version. That is HTTP 24, right? Uh, so wait for a few seconds. Uh, so it's complete. Uh, now we are going to be making it self restart. So, we are starting a stability that is okay. Now you can uh, 
check it by your browser but before checking uh, you have to configure your inbound rules unless it is not, never going to be open so here view inbound rules you can see 80 port is not be here so need to be add the http 80 port unless your file will never unless your file will, will never going to be open that page now you have added the http rule here now let's go to instances and uh, check the file see you have a uh, apache 2.4 installed on your ec2 instance now so uh, in this video i'm going to be test about the elastic load balancer uh, that how it uh, works uh, on a p uh, on p covers uh, with auto scaling functionality so currently i'm going to be uh, use one simple ec2 instance with one uh, configured auto scaling instance uh, particularly i'm going to be uh, first load balancer in load balancer we have target groups that are going to use in application load balancer but uh, here i'm going to use classic load balancer for my uh, a similar data purpose uh, like on the uh, two instances I have a similar data that's why I'm using classic load balancer so just create a load balancer here I'm going to name it uh, you can name it as your requirement like ELB zero ELB is test right uh, so it's a load balancer protocol from where it is uh, going to be ping and open the other web browsing pages assigning the and the default DP security group for my load balancer it uh, gives me a warning for HTTPS but currently I do not have any certificate for SSL that's why I'm not going to choose HTTPS however you can use HTTPS if you have a certificate it's a post your encrypted connection unless known as assessment office okay let's skip it so here uh, is a health check health check is the important part of a load balancer it will having HTTP, HTTP, SSL, or TCP. I'm going to use HTTP, HTTP protocol. Uh, TCP, HTTP, SSL, I'm ignoring due to now having the uh, uh, certificate and TCP, I'm also ignoring. In HTTP, I have a ping port 80 and having index.html. Uh, basically, my load balancer pings out my this file from my EC2 instance and configures that if this file is in EC2 instance, then it will declare that my EC2 instance is in a healthy state, unless it will declare out it is in unhealthy state. So I need to be create this file into my EC2 instance that I'm going to be uh, add here. So let's uh, create this file uh, here. See, if you enter this file into EC2 user, it will going to upload so, like here. I'll just upload it. Wait a few seconds. However, if you're going to upload this file in www directory, it will never going to be uploaded. See, upload it here. Now uh, yes, do the same thing from where. It's a good feature of the software. It will just give you a GUI of your directories and www HTML. Now just upload that file. It will never going to be. It gives you as FTD error, very permission error. Uh, you need to be change ownership of the group to Apache and give some uh, permissions to these directories to enter with the file. See, the file did not upload it well. Right. Uh, again check if you still have doubt we were never going to upload so for uploading that file here I need to give some permissions like user mode uh, change group you can also give this utility command through batch script file also however for manual purpose I'm doing it Okay, here I have now just shown with the ownership to the Apache user group. Here is the user Apache. Let's change the ownership of where the browser directory. Now the CH more give its permissions to the where directory. Wait a minute. So we have uh, give all the proper location. Now just upload a file here. Now it is going to upload here. Mm -hmm. Just a second. So here you can see it is here. See uh, uh, the load balancer basically picks out this file from EC2 instance and uh, gives out its response. So here the response time out on healthy threshold or healthy threshold values. You can take it out 10. I'm taking it only 2. Now just add EC2 instances here. Now you can also refresh your simple EC2 instance. It will land out to index HTML page. Simple issue instance that I've created a simple file for that. Uh, now just add this instance here. I will going to be add uh, auto scale instance also, but in uh, 
methods or you can also give some tags for your convenience see now review and create if the instance prints the service and uh, uh, and it did not create the index code html file in the instance then it will save the instance in out of service with these maximum things like uh, currently the status is zero of out in one instance in service currently it is pinging the file you can see out of service you can see uh, it will take some time upon successful thing it will add instance in this here wait for some seconds currently is not here see now you can see uh, uh, it's in one of one instances in service uh, in service it have successfully pinged the file index.html here that is stored in uh, where the web directory when you will release this file it is again going in auto service state uh, basically in uh, peak hours uh, our file is not going to be loaded that's why it will say not in service then uh, take the uh, traffic from and, and shift the traffic to other another instance so now we are going to be create auto scale group uh, for our another instance so here is auto scaling feature uh, now just create auto scaling group auto scaling group we are creating uh, because uh, on instance termination we are adding one another instance it will scale out our instance it basically gives us elasticity feature in cloud computing uh the amazon linux ami here right now just select this ami it will just initiate the uh, more instances from this ami on your configuration so here i'm going to be give my name of to my elv auto scale instance auto scale instance it will use this ami for further instances I'm going to enable cloud version doing like I had did uh, commands in the uh, uh, last instance currently I'm not doing the same I'm doing this details from advanced tools here user data in user data you can uh, add the bash script directly from bash script directly like these commands this bin bash it will directly install the HTTP and uh, configure all the Apache properly for its directories also you can also give these commands in the EC2 instance also but uh, that I done manually but from here it will configure it properly okay now let's add storage Okay, auto scale just uh, add same instance. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to add rule of HTTP also. Auto scaling uh, uh, again. I'm revising. It will add the instance on termination. Same from same AI. AMI. Uh, further, we will uh, configure its launch configuration. On launch configuration, it will check out and add the uh, further instance according to the our policies. So here is our launch configuration. We have configured for our instances that we're going, going to future use so choose an existing key pair i'm using aws my existing key pair right now create launch configuration so here i'm giving its name scale with name so you can start these two instances also auto scale i mean like on termination of your instance uh it will uh it will like in policies you can configure two instances but now group size you can say if you want to start the instance with one instance you can start with one with, if you want with two, it uh, start with two instances. Currently, we I want only one instance because I have configured one simple instance in uh, EC2 there. So here I'm using subnet from e, EC1B or 1A uh, US East. Advanced details. I'm checking it 60 seconds. And uh, load balancing is a step here. So the classical infrastructure of the scaling group uh, is basically received traffic from one or more load balancers. I'm going to check it. Because I have a classic organizers, the ELB test. If you have a target groups, uh, I have pretty better, but the other new is are my last target groups for application organizer. If you want it, you can also configure for that. But uh, I only want the traffic on ELB test. And uh, I'll check that I'm going to be taking ELB and uh, enable cloud watch detail monitoring. So here we have taken the group in scale, and I want to start this uh, instance only with the group of one instance because one is configure there if you want it to two then it will start with the, another two instances or with four or five as your preference uh, okay now just go to configure scale of policies uh, i'm going to scaling policies here is the scaling policies or like on a particular peak bandwidth uh, how it will be uh, a challenge that peak bandwidth uh, so here i am going to add a new alarm uh, for increased group size like here currently i did not configure my snn service so i'm just uh, taking up taking out so say uh, when minimum of CPU utilization is greater than or equal to one percent, uh, I want to add only one instance. Like say uh, on your servers uh, during result time period, 
uh, like thousand users have uh, particular users are paid on the same time. So CPU percentage will be going to be up, and your EC2 instance will be going to be cut back out. So at that particular time, I want to be add one more EC2 instance uh, on its termination, right? So create a LAN for that. On decrease group size, I don't want to be currently. It, uh, decreasing basically uh, gives the feature in AWS as elasticity. Like uh, after that users, uh, after like a thousand users to two hundred users, low traffic, it will back to out and uh, decrease the instances. So here I like I want to say two instances, one instance that's on my own. But I'm going to add one instance when one when minimum of one CPU, one percent of CPU utilization is there. Right, instances need second warm up. I want to say only thirty second warm up after each step. Okay, now configure notification. I didn't have SNS, so just going to recreate our scaling group. So wait for it. Log it. Now see, uh, in uh, ELB, when my load balancer. Uh, I only one one instance in service currently that we have taken out. Uh, to take the uh, auto scan instance in the service, I need to again make this file for uh, index.html file for auto scale service too. Because unless ELB did not able to be detect out, uh, because in the auto scale I have configured that uh, ELB as a health check. So it's initializing the auto scale. The log rules are already set 80, so it's um, 52. So wait for its initialization. See, uh, due to my minimum utilization set in CPU is 1%, my instance got terminated. Actually, the load on instance is got more than 1%. That's why it uh, initialized another instance here. So, I need to change my auto scaling policy. Uh, during uh, utility installation, maybe take uh, more pressure. That's why it got shut down. Uh, however, I will going to change its uh, scaling policies. Uh, so, here I'm going to change it. So I want to take it like three. Uh, yeah. Now I have to get as three. Now let's go to instances and uh, due to so it's initializing. Uh, during initializing, it basically uh, running the bash script file for Apache installation and for other directory purposes. That's why uh, on proper installation, it will. Uh, Gives out the Apache test space on the uh, new. Currently, it is not here. Currently, it's on the mask. It is running. That's why it's taking some time. So, let's wait. Uh, okay. Again, it's got shut down. Uh, maybe my CPU percentage utilization is quite low. That's why, uh, see, uh, the scaling policy is properly working here. Uh, due to basket run, uh, the CPU taking more uh, percentage of CPU processing power. That's why it got again shut down. Um, during the termination, it will start another instance. See, uh, so I need to be change. I think more than three percent. Uh, it will start new instance. Um, you can see uh, it basically goes shut down because uh, in the other scaling feature, I have uh, set the scaling for so firstly the one percent of CPU utilization and then I said three percent CPU utilization but uh, due to my basket running uh, in my terminal uh, then uh, it maybe got uh, more than uh, CPU power than three or one uh, percent that's why it again got terminated the new CPU instance will going to be run in a few seconds of uh, warm up that is 30 seconds we have made in auto scaling feature so let's wait uh, or uh, make a refresh So we need to be uh, see uh, the another issue stands is start auto scaling group, uh, and uh, we need to be make it more than three or one percent. I think that is quite low for even bash script file. I'm taking it as uh, um, editing the policies again for auto scaling policy. Uh, I thought according to the file, uh, I'm taking it as twenty. So add one instance when. Uh, See, minimum CPU duration is greater than or equal to 20. Okay, let's see. You know, uh, you can also uh, see your CPU uh, uptime from your command panel also. So, currently initializing. Also, you can monitor through your CloudWatch monitor. So, here is a CloudWatch monitor. You can see uh, currently it's here 10. 
so you can like continue with only uh, when the the instance is uh, running the bash script file uh, in the command panel for storing the Apache and other utilities uh, so that's why it's not able to open so let's wait for some time we can also have a USB instance with this SSH. Now I'm going to open another issue instance that is auto scale group instance from here. Uh, the same file I use for it is AWS key. And that is AWS PM. So I'm running in uh, another panel. Authenticating. Uh, wait for a minute. The server is run up. Wait for about few seconds. The script is running, and uh, uh, here you can see uh, my instances are uh, running. Uh, but then it's again going to shut down and running. Uh, this all happening due to auto scaling feature we had uh, applied uh, for PLPs. See in load balancers, you can check here. Uh, we have applied one feature for that. Uh, like uh, for simple instance, one of two instances in services. Uh, like here, you can see two instances. One is auto service uh, in services of a simple instance, and auto service of a dev instance uh, that we for applied uh, in uh, auto scaling group. Uh, from here, you can check. Here we have uh, applied classic uh, e load balancing. Uh, wait a minute. Here, you see. Here the instances are running terminating. Uh, instance were taken out service to respond to ELB system health check failure because uh, the instance we are running did not having that index.html file in the in its root. When the ELB checking that file in the uh, that instance, uh, then uh, it's notified that instance in unhealthy state and making it terminate and adding another instance from auto scale uh, functionality from AWS. So we need to remove this uh, functionality. Then we uh, uh, again add this functionality on adding the index html so that uh, elb will modify index html and ping out the uh, file properly so here i'm going to remove our elb cache file uh, because uh, unless uh, it will uh, going to be again and again terminating the instances uh, because it will not going to ping out the test file so here i'm going to save the configuration so uh, currently uh, i did not add the elb file here now in instances go back to instances now we can check uh, running now it's going to initialize in some seconds so but particularly is uh, going here uh, i have made auto scaling feature with the elb uh, enabled uh, with my uh, load balancer so in the uh, auto scaling i have made the health check as elb so but basically elb checking the auto scaling instance uh, whether the index or html file is in here or not so currently we did not put the uh, index for HTML file in the uh, instance so ELB making it out unhealthy and the auto scaling facility basically termi out, terminating out the instance and uh, running the new instance uh, because uh, ELB making the uh, auto scaling functionality as uh, uh, sorry uh, adv advising that uh, advising that service as unhealthy so currently uh, we uh, remove out the ELB test so adding the index HTML file here so currently you can see, check here two by two checks this is our simple instance and uh, this is our auto scaling instance you can check from here uh, that is simple instance you can still uh, go here that is simple issue instance and auto scaling instance we have added in the elbs elbs but uh, due to no file index.html in the ec2 instance so elb pings nothing and uh, makes the instance terminating terminating and uh, uh, auto scaling feature uh, just going to be running the new instances so our basket they have installed all the features that's open it wait for a minute uh, it's uh, basket is running here uh, so after proper baskets and uh, mm -hmm. i have removed the elb from auto scaling feature the our instance is going to run up and now you can uh, check from auto scaling group that our instance have properly installed our uh, apache 2.4 from, from basket file rather than going for commanding like here is simple instance 
now for ELB, we need to be uh, create an index or HTML file in Autoscape group also. Unless again ELB will again terminate out terminate out the instance and will uh, uh, command the Autoscape functionality for uh, running the new instance. So what we actually is going here uh, ELB terminating due to no index HTML file here uh, due to health check and Autoscape is uh, going to be create a new one because uh, last one is terminated. So here we are going to be make an index or HTML file in Autoscaling. Uh, is to instance so we are going to be done session again same functionality with the aws key as a as a shs key for that so this private key here i did not need to uh, make the commands again to run like uh, in a simple issues instance i have configured many uh, commands for patching installation and for directory installation or for uh, directory sorry directory permissions here again i directly uh, add the file from my downloads because uh, during the script i have uh, also give out the permissions so here from where and going to www and in html so here you can see it will not give any sftb error so from downloads i have another file for this uh, cloud aws here in that's html so you can see it will directly upload the file rather than any error You can see because in last instance we did not give the permissions in this instance we have given the permission to dash script file okay uh, now we can uh, run the instance you can see this auto scale instance auto scale group is to instance now you can add this instance in uh, elv so in the auto scaling feature we are uh, now you can see in load balancer only one instance is there that is our previously added simple instance that is this instance uh, one of one instance in service now in auto scaling groups we are going to be make it uh, with the auto scale instance to be added in the elb again now elb can detect the file so here uh, sorry action edit so here we are going to add the elb test file and for uh, health check type we are going to be take it as elb because it will check the index html unless if the file is not there then it will add the new uh, file because in the peak hours when uh, the thousand users will uh, going to be uh, going to click your page then uh, your uh, index or HTML will, will not going to be open and uh, on the other hand your instance will going to be terminate and uh, the scaling feature will add the new instance and load balancer on the same time will be uh, going to be uh, host the user with the new instance so here you can see uh, instances now two instances going to be added here then sometime in load balancer you can see two or two instances in service. Uh, so one instance is uh, from our uh, that is one first instance 974, and the second one is our scaling instance. Now for particular, uh, now for particular bandwidth checks or fake load generation, we are going to use the repository name stress. Uh, that is stress repository. I am going to use the stress repository on uh, uh, my EC2 instance that is auto scale. So this is my auto scale instance. So just uh, type sudo yum install stress. This is basically a repository for server maintenance or every fake unloading on the servers or the virtual machines. Um, okay. So here I'm going to install this repository. From this repository, I'm going to be add CPU fake uh, processing power on my EC2 instance. I'm going to terminate my instance. So here it is out. Now I'm going to be configured my auto scaling instance with some features more like uh, in auto scaling now i'm going to be add the scaling portion that i previously added but due to no index external file it's going to be terminate so i am going to create a policy with the minimum utilization so no sns is there then minimum of security utilization is i want to say one percent again in, in one minute clear the alarm All right uh, i'm not taking the so here add one instances when minimum one uh, when minimum of CPU, cpu utilization is one so let's create a run oh sorry i didn't give the name cpu see in this what particular it will do uh see uh, now i have added the alarm to the um uh auto scaling uh, so when my uh, at a scale so instance CPU utilization is more than one then my uh, instance will going to be terminate and the auto scaling feature will be add the one at one more instance uh, and in ELV again 
uh, we have two instances uh, during termination uh, of uh, our auto scale instance another instance will be check the feature you can see from the ns name also see I'm going to take it as the dns name is there just go to ELB test it will never going to open because we did not uh, give the proper security group give the security groups you can see you can last uh, you can configure only the last one security groups now it will going to be open because uh, in that we did not put it right like simple instance it is opening only one simple institution why it is opening simple instance because we configured only simple one is so here two out of two services there so why it is not showing uh, this one is oh, sorry this one is auto scale group because you need to configure it properly with the auto scaling group 2 you did launch wizard one that is right uh, but you need to give it a proper 9 10 wait for a minute we will check out all the groups uh, due to many things right here so wait a minute wait a minute I'm not uh, sure about my first instance which one is it is so wait a second so here I'm adding the group lines so in the last one group save it okay now just open your PLB test now you see auto autoscape group issue instance and here you can see simple issue instance and here you can see autoscape group issue instance so basically when MP covers your autoscape group issue instance is going to terminate then it will solve the traffic flow simple issue instance and uh, when it will be in the uh, simple issue instance will be going to terminate then uh, the other have them uh, the auto scale group will be uh, serve the traffic. So here we are going to be uh, going to be make the auto scale group with more traffic using CPU. Uh, that is fake traffic that we have stored the uh, here. We are going to configure it with some uh, auto scale groups. Here we have configured the auto scale group with the CPU that is uh, last uh, that is for one. In here I am going to put it out. Uh, um, minus oh sorry stress like i have put 30 in for timeout 60 seconds so it will uh, dispatch the hops to the cpu of the auto scan instance and will generate the new instance see uh, now currently auto scan group instance is uh, serving the traffic when auto scan group will be going to terminate then uh, on, other, on the other hand, it will simple issue to instance will going to be server traffic. Again, uh, when simple issue to instance will be in under attack, uh, then uh, auto scale group is in the under hand will traffic the traffic. So here I need to again configure the alarm. It will tell the terminal instance one percent or at least to configure the clock right. So. Here you can see uh, I have hope I will again stress the CPU for my auto scale instance that is 201 IP. This is one basically I configured uh, the auto scaling policy in the auto scale feature that is when minimum of one uh, percent of situations is there, then uh, it will add one new instance. But we, but we need to be also configure the alarm status also here when minimum one percent of situation is there, then it will be terminate out of the instance and. Uh, uh, and the auto scanning feature will add the new instance. So let's see. So it's uh, dispatching the hawks. It's a stretch repository. I'm going to again revise that through the jamming stress that is for fake load on CPU, input output of disk, and on memory. Uh, for continuous uh, 60 seconds, uh, continuity period of 60 seconds, we need to put the CPU under load more than 1%, then it will be going to terminate our instance. Can we see our 201 IP is the instance for auto scale? I mean, for uh, some time. See, alarm will be triggered out when there is a mode all. 
see the system is going down for power of now uh, because the cpu power load is more than one percent for a consecutive period of 60 seconds that's why uh, it's going stop now you can see refresh the page it's now uh, power off i mean shut down and going to terminate down during termination this is shutting down see uh, during term it's shutting down only one instance is running the elv under elv so our traffic is serving by only simple issue instance now no auto scale instance is there you can see no instance is there only here so during result folder uh, when our one instance is down the other instance under elv will serve the traffic like here simple issue instance is serving the traffic no uh, auto scale instance is there so uh, terminating now the auto scale feature will on termination will add the new instance on immediately so that uh, elv let they see our auto scaling feature add the new instance here 18 with the 86 ip our last instance that the alarm trigger 2 gen 1 is got down new instance is in a, a new state you can also check uh, uh, auto scaling groups uh, why this instance is going down uh, why new instance is uh, there from here wait a second i will show you in scaling points you can uh, so active history so instances so see uh, in lastly uh, the instances are going down see and instance were taken out in, in response to ELV system health check failure because uh, um, in that time ELV checking health check but there was not a pile of index.html that's why instances are going terminating and new instances are growing out so but uh, uh, now we have uh, lowered the CPU instance with the CPU more than 1% that's why see and instance was taken out in response to health check indicating it has been terminated or stopped because uh, EC2 health check uh, but in this uh, it is checking the ELB health check ELB health check is uh, checking the file but in EC2 it is checking the uh, EC2 health that is CPU percentage processing power so here different between Zide and HTTP is increasing the capacity from 0 to 1 so again you can see our new instance will going to be run up and uh, so here it will be going to be run up but it, again it will be going to be off why because uh, our elb uh, will uh, not configure for health check right wait a minute i will show you uh, because new instance did not having the index.html file in its root directory it will going to be shut down in uh, some seconds because our elb will pinging out the same uh, index.html file last instance having index.html file but this instance did not having uh, index for HTML file. You can see uh, the strategy is still from simple issue instance. For that purpose, we need to be removed out it from. I will show you why it will going to be shut down because no index for HTML file for health check is there. So that's how uh, large companies configure the instances properly according to their report. Firstly, we had the instance using more CPU power and secondly when instance is not uh, occupying the correct uh, sorry pinging the file correctly so it will surely going to be shut down this uh, ELB will ping out in file in frequency of 5 or in the uh, after it will be going to be terminate wait for a second so now it's in a uh, state but it will going to be in a shutdown state immediately when it will ping out see apache will going to install wait for a second we are going to be in a see the instance will be that 86 got shut down and you can check it's uh, activity why it got terminated i mean why it got shut down because uh, when elv checked the file it did not got a file from here see i'm oh, sorry in progress it's going so it's big see here oh sorry sorry progress see elv health system failure that's why it got terminated a new instance is in one state we need to be add the new instance here and we will the test unless it will again going to be make another instance off so that's how uh, our elastic load balancing works
with the auto scaling feature in uh, AWS. Uh, we have uh, tested both the uh, checkdowns by through ELBs with auto scaling health check and uh, also through CPU load through our stress repository. That is how we have implemented a hoax. So again, uh, you can see from ELB here, load balancers. Or one of one instances in service to make the another instance in working you need to add the file in this instance so again add the file you just need to be open the instance so that it will bring out correctly all the services or uh, that is uh, apache everything will got stored directly through dash file and you see so okay it will take some time Cross instance in instance. See, uh, now I will again add the index.html file so that we will be properly ping out the file and will not uh, make the instance in terminal state. Uh, now, about uh, when it is, so I think Apache did not restore correctly. It will take some time. Uh, Dash script is basically uh, running, that's why. On installation here, www directly will come came out. That's why it's not here. So it will take some time. Again, process under initialization. On proper initialization, uh, provide the Apache test space to wait for it. So you can see um, Apache is maybe properly installed. Let's check it out. Uh, Apache is uh, directly installed using basket. Now let's configure with the uh, index.html file for ELB uh, from HTML. Just to upload a file, we don't need any configurations uh, because we already did through bash file. I again will show you the basket file that we did uh, uh, below here that is bin bash, upgrade std, and the permissions for directly upload. So index.html we have uh, given out. Now just refresh it out. How to schedule the pseudo instance is there. And now just uh, again, I'm going to re add this pseudo instance in uh, here. You can add uh, independently also, but I'm going to add through here and checking the ELB from here. See, uh, these are basically two experiments. Uh, first one is uh, likely with the ELB and with the health check. Uh, using uh, auto scaling facility and the second one is a uh, auto scaling facility with the CPU. I had did uh, both experiments in one uh, in one video, so did not get confused here. So now you can check load balancer will uh, get occupied with two instances again, like we have previously did. Load balancers, two of two instances are in service, right? Uh, now you can again ELB test. Simple issues currently our traffic is serving for simple instance, but now other instance is up. You can see auto scale again is up. So when again auto scale group will be down, then it will again uh, feature traffic from simple EC2. And when another when simple EC2 got any CPU attack or something, it will feature traffic from auto scale. So through auto scaling feature, uh, the traffic uh, will again serving from auto scale group. So our website will be again up to elasticity and scaling with load balancing. Thanks a lot. For watching my video hope you liked it sorry for any miscarry uh, thanks